all sorts of uh, wildlife uh, being traded in terms of live animals, uh, body parts as well. We've even got meat made from uh, gorillas and chimpanzees being traded. These are the commercially valuable body parts and types of animals that are being smuggled around the world. We've been uh, trying to get the public and government officials to wake up to the fact that wildlife crime is, is a big crime. You know, it's, it's a multi-billion dollar industry. We got contacted by Animal Planet. At first I was kind of dubious because TV cameras and crews can get in the way. Uh, we're very busy. Then the challenge became, how do we follow the crime scene with wildlife trafficking? in such a way that it's honest. I mean, I didn't want to deal with something that, you know, we were staging anything. So that then gave us the challenge of filming most things with hidden cameras. People ask, you know, is it dangerous to me and others uh, that who are working on this? Yeah, it is, because you're dealing with professional criminals, criminal rings in some cases. And these are people who are making a lot of money. They think that we're trading wildlife with them. They're going to make money off us. If they find out that, in fact, we're wearing a hidden camera, trying to get evidence on them, to help the authorities catch them red-handed, they're going to get upset. They may respond violently, but I would say that the people who are really potentially in danger are the informants uh, who are out there still, whose identity we will protect through the series and afterwards. And I might add that these are people from all over the world. We always find there's somebody willing to step forward and help pass information about a wildlife criminal. What I'm hoping we get out of this series is that the people watching it realize they can help out, which they can't. Don't buy endangered species, right? And if you're not sure if it's endangered or not, just don't buy. Keep your eyes and ears open to wildlife crime. Check out some shops locally, find out. If you detect anything, call the police. Uh, this is not a problem that's just sort of over there in Africa or Asia or something. It's also right here in Britain.